This nice pine tree is going to be in my way. You know? We only cut up the dead, not the living. I know. I feel like some nice pine tree. Mm -hmm. Chad and Jennifer here, and we're here. We've been talking about some exciting news, but I always say a deal's not done until it's done. Well, it's finally done so we can talk about it. We bought a zoo. I mean, we bought a house. Sorry about that. If you remember from earlier in the summer, I said we were doing some work in another property. We actually bought that property, and I'm standing in our new property right now, and I'll explain to you why. Right there. That is our house. And beside our house was a piece of land that we didn't own. We owned lots of land behind us, back at a corner, off to the side, but the land right beside us we actually didn't own. And the house that you saw in some previous videos from our front yard when I'm mowing is actually the house that we bought. So it owned this side of the road and our side of the road. This house became available for sale. We bought it because we wanted the land beside us. We've actually been hoping to purchase that piece of land for many years. We approached the owners about 15 years ago and told them that we would be interested in it if they ever decided to sell it. So we ended up, um, they gave us the opportunity to purchase it, but we had to purchase the piece beside us as long, along with the house across the road. And it's been a fun purple collar life adventure. We've been doing a lot of cleanup here. You saw us use the chipper. We were actually chipping limbs up here. We've been mowing up here. We were cutting firewood tonight up here. So all lots of fun stuff to do up at this property. All the scrap metal. We took all the scrap metal out of here. So you've seen us actually doing work here. But again, I didn't want to make the announcement until the deal was done. It's officially done now. So we're excited to say we bought a house. So you'll see future videos where we're up here working. Um, there's still lots to do up here. And it's nice to know that we own the property beside us. And that house you've seen in the background of the, all the mowing videos is the only house that we can see from our house. So it's nice to own that house now also. Back to work, we're gonna cut up some more of that tree. But tonight's project, before it gets dark, there's this big cherry here at the new property. And I wanted to get it cut up and at least stacked here along the ground. And then we'll take it down and split it up for firewood at our house. Do you have anything to add? Okay, that was the easy part. The rest of it's all suspended in the air by both ends. So I've got to cut it somewhere and let some of it fall to the ground. I don't think there's really a good spot to cut from. I'll start down at this end. This might be a job though for the longer bar of the MS-271. Today I'm using the steel MS290 Farm Boss. So we'll just pick a spot in here 
it's going to bind on itself we already knew that going in so i'll try to cut a channel so that i don't get bound up i didn't bring the second saw with me tonight Nice piece of wood. If we had a sawmill, we'd slice it up into something nice. But it'll also make good firewood. Yeah, it's super straight. Yeah. A lot of it is straight. Now, everywhere you cut, the whole way up, it's going to bind though. So I need to cut a section and then I can roll it. I touch them up every single time I chainsaw, but I don't do like three scrapes, I just do one scrape. Now I'm back in my green marker, 
see how that's green? That's how I remember where I started. And I flip this around and go the other way. On the other two. That's been a good gift. This thing's awesome. Before you did that, before you got this, how often did you go and get it sharpened? several uses maybe three or four uses but it just doesn't cut as good because it's not sharp when you're starting but you don't want to take it off and take it out and get it sharpened every time Back to my green mark. So I don't know how long that took. Two minutes, Two minutes. maybe. That was a good gift too. I think I was telling you the other day that I needed these for a long time, but they sure do make it a pain to cut firewood. Can you imagine what a pain it would be if your chainsaw cut through your leg? Yeah. What's our game plan tonight? Um, tonight I brought the MS-271 instead of the two, the yeah, other farm boss, the 290, because this tree was longer than my 16 inch bar, so I had to hop across the tree, cut one side, hop across, cut the other side. This should get the whole way through it, so even though it's not quite as strong of a saw, the bar is longer and it should cut the whole diameter of the tree at once. So game plan is to get as much of this cut as possible load a couple rows at a time into the ranger because it doesn't haul a super lot of weight um, but the ranger was much easier to back up in here to location than the big truck would have been and the ranger i can drive straight through our yard unload at the fire at the firewood pile I decided to just go ahead and cut down it because it was already higher. So it wasn't always bending over, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now I gotta get it to roll one way or the other. Good? Okay. Chad here and Jennifer. And we have exciting news. I've been kind of hinting at it, but I always say a deal isn't done until it's done. So we can finally announce we bought a zoo. I mean, we bought a house. So Sorry. I can finally announce. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I can finally announce we bought a house. Now we'll go into the a little bit more details of why we bought a house and where it is. But earlier in the summer, I mentioned that we were mowing another property. You saw us do some chipping work. That's actually all at the new property that we bought. So we had an opportunity to buy some land. And like I said, we'll explain that later in the video, 